interesting journey here. That journey chick on Instagram. It's not done. Still working on some drills in here, but we're getting there. So I um I had to steal some uh, 823s out of another kit because I just could not find those lost drills. I have no idea what I did with them. I'm assuming they fell on the floor somehow and the cats batted it around and it's underneath something. I will find it one of these days when I vacuum. But anyhow, I have plenty of extra drills in other places. Drills in low places, yes. Hi Tootsie, good morning. What you doing? She's been playing with the kitties. They're chasing each other around. I called the vet yesterday and I said, should I be shampooing these kittens every few days, you know, because of this ringworm thing? And they're like, oh no, you don't, if you're not showing any symptoms or anything, you don't have to do that. So I'm like, okay. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, she said, keep the keep them apart. <laughs> I'm like, I said, yeah, right. Keep them apart. Are you kidding me? Um, these kittens and the dog, they love each other. They, you know, she, Tootsie's jealous, but she does play with them. She loves them. They'll sleep, you know, they sleep together. I can't keep them apart. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that would be next to impossible. Yeah. <laughs> That's like saying, Tootsie can't sleep with you anymore. Yet yeah, Tootsie would just be crying. So, uh, let's see what else is going on. Oh, when the live was over last night, I did a live last night. I'll put the link here. Here. It was a loom knitting live. And I, unfortunately, I didn't set it up so you could actually see what I was doing. I was explaining it. But it's a very difficult stitch anyway. And there are some fantastic tutorials out there that show you how to do it. It's called a reverse Edelweiss stitch. So after the lie was over, I ate dinner and then I kept working on it and I made a mistake and I had to, but I knew like a few stitches in I had made the mistake. So I carefully frogged it back to where I was and um, it may look a little wonky right there, but whatever, you know. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm just going to do it. Keep going. Um, and I imagine, you know, because I'm not going to say this is the last time I do this kind of hat because I think I'm going to get faster at it as I go. But, you know, I will be making mistakes on this hat. <laughs> so I made one last night, but I kept going. I almost cried. I almost called Cheryl and go, I made a mistake. It, but, you know what? I, I held it together, frogged it, redid it. And I don't know if you guys know about loom knitting, but it's very difficult to frog loom knitting. It's, it's just, you know, it's difficult. So I did it, but um, the best that I could. And then I kept going. So the first four row pattern, it's a four row repeat. So the first four rows are done. This is just on the body of the hat. So someone asked me about this hat. Where did I get the pattern? So um, I wanted to show you. It came out of this. Uh, it's a leisure arts book called Slouchy Beanies. I actually got this at Hobby Lobby. But you can probably look it up on Amazon and it would be there. At, or, you know, one of your local craft stores. Slouchy Beanies and Head Wraps. Great styles for every day, but you can see down here, it's Leisure Arts, and this particular pattern um, is called the Newsboy Beanie. Now, next time I do this, and I will, because this is super easy, but I need to color control, because this, the, the, the brim is sort of, you know, I should have color controlled it yet. Um, I need to step up my crochet and start color controlling. But anyway, it's a cute hat. I like it. Oh, my goodness. I did not want to go to work today. But I gotta go to work. Gotta go to work. work, work, work. Um, yeah, I just... I'm so, Wednesdays are so draining for me. Seriously, because I work. And then I come home. You know, I do the show. Work. Come home. Do my live. And, you know, by then I'm like, I am zonked. Seriously. 
um, seriously tired. I did not read my book last night. I didn't watch TV. I didn't play my game. What did I do? Oh, I had a small uh, dish of ice cream, brushed my teeth, and went to bed. Went to sleep, fell asleep like 10 o'clock. Yeah, I was tired. I was trying to watch. <laughs> Every now and then I turn it on because it's just so funny. It's a show called Catfish. Um, and I was falling asleep. Couldn't follow it, just kept falling asleep. So I just turned it off and went to sleep. Yep. Do, 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 do. All right, what national day is it? I like this national day, I really do. It's national give something away day. So, and it doesn't have to be money or th things. It could be, you know, just making someone feel good with your words. Um, so here's my challenge for you guys. Let me know today in the comments um, what you gave away today. Did you give something away? Now, <laughs> this is kind of silly, but I bought these Cheetos type things. They're, um, they're from this pretzel company. Uh, um, I don't know. It's a weird pretzel company. And it, and it, the pretzels have this weird spice on them and I don't like them. But then I saw they had like a Cheetos thing and I'm like, oh, let me try those. Well, I didn't realize they have the same spice on them. So I'm taking those to work and giving them away. Now I know that's kind of frivolous, but, um, and I will try to come up with something a little better than that, you know. I'll see if I can comfort someone or, you know, donate to someone. Maybe I'll go in someone's live and make a donation. I don't know, you know. Who knows? Um, but giving benefits us all. It makes the, the person you gave something to feel better. Like yesterday, I someone gifted me the 2021 Halloween... Uh, edition of just stitching and uh, I was so blown away I, I mean oh my god that that was so so nice so that made me feel really really good and I'm sure the giver the person that gave it to me felt felt great too so you know so I'm gonna pay it forward and I'm gonna give something away today I don't know what it is but I'm gonna give away something um, you know, you could clean your closets out and, and garage and make a donation. I have so much clothes that I can't wear. And by the time, if I ever lose weight again, those clothes will be out of style. <laughs> I need to just give it away, right? Um, I don't know, unless I could, yeah. It's the funny, the weird thing is like, it's, it's a Thursday. You could donate to your local food pantry or your library if you can make a donation to the library if you've got some books that you've read and they're sitting around and you don't know what to do with them put them in the library um you could volunteer your time somewhere or your skills um you could create gift baskets for shelters start a fundraiser for your favorite charity now my favorite charity is saint jude's um and i i usually donate through marissa uh, McCartney the crafty heifer and or you can help a neighbor in time of need there there you go bake your neighbor Phil some cookies yeah hey Phil I brought you some cookies yeah no <laughs> I don't think that's the kind of giving away they thought they had in mind but if that's how you give away okay <laughs> I know Okay, so that's what national day it is. Do, do, do. Okay, we're going to do Judge, Jury, and Journey, but it's kind of a different, uh, we're going to veer from the trial. Uh, uh, you know, I'm doing the Ch Joshua A trial, um, listening to the testimony of Rebecca Barkowski, who's the victim, his ex-girlfriend, and she, um, 
she was on the stand for hours. So like I just got the morning part of her testimony. So now I need to get the afternoon part of her testimony because it is very, very lengthy. So I will bring you that tomorrow. But today I want to talk about the Molly Tibbetts trial. Now let me remind you about the Molly Tibbetts trial. Molly Tibbetts, um, this was, I forget which state, uh, and I'm sorry about that. I could, let me look up the news story and then I will tell you what state. But Molly Tibbetts was um, a young woman. She, she had a boyfriend. What is that noise? That was the weirdest noise. And, sorry. <laughs> um, so she's living with her boyfriend and the boyfriend's brother and his girlfriend. And um, sh they're all out of town working. And she decides she's going to go for a jog, Molly does. And she um, she's never seen again. She never comes back. She just disappears. Nobody... Uh, you know, they search for her, they can't find her, you know, the boyfriend comes back, they suspect him. Um, in any case, um, they arrest this migrant worker, um, Bahena Rivera, <coughs> and um, put him on trial for the murder. They find her body in a cornfield. Um, he actually leads them to the body. But he comes up with this crazy story about he how he he had gone home from work that day, took a shower, he comes out of the shower, and there's two men, masked men, in his living room. They and they abduct him. They've got guns and they t tell him to drive, and he drives and they 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 end up stabbing Molly and throwing her body in the trunk of his car. Yeah. And then he, they have him drive to this cornfield where they just get out of the car and they disappear, never to be seen again. So he doesn't know what to do. He takes the body out of the trunk and puts it in the cornfield. And that's his story. Now, he's convicted of murder, first degree murder. So yesterday, the sentencing was delayed. And here's why interesting development um really interesting development let me see if i can get to it now <laughs> this is crazy so i'm just going to read this too the judge has delayed the sentencing of a man convicted of murdering university of iowa student molly tibbetts after defense attorneys filed court documents accusing prosecutors of failing to disclose that police were investigating a sex trafficking trap house involving a man linked to a missing 11-year-old boy. So they should have disclosed that information. So in this same area, um, they find that there were all, all these people that had gone missing. She wasn't the only one. Like, all these children had gone missing. And then that, now we've got witnesses that say that they committed the murder, that they were part of this ring, and they committed the murder. And Molly Tibbetts was actually abducted. She was kept in the trap house. Um, and, and then they <coughs> decided they were going to frame this Behena Rivera guy. Um, which is crazy. So the motion also claimed that investigation by the defense found that in the past few years, at least 10 children have been reported missing in or near this same county of Iowa. What, honey? What, 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 what? Okay, two witnesses came forward to law enforcement in May saying they independently spoke to a man who claimed he and a 50-year-old sex trafficker killed Molly Tibbetts and framed the Haina Rivera. What? So here's the rub. That crazy story that he told could be true. So what they're going to do is um, they've delayed the sentencing. The defense is going to file a um, motion to set aside the verdict 
and ask for a new trial based on information that was withheld from them during the trial. I will follow this very closely. If he gets a new trial, this is going to be super interesting, like really, really interesting. Um, one of the new witnesses claimed the real killer who was in jail with the witness at the time told him that he first saw Tibbetts bound and gagged at a sex trafficking trap house owned by his alleged accomplice. The man claimed, according to the defense motion, his alleged accomplice grew worried after federal authorities searching for Tibbetts showed up at his house, at a house next door to his. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. Both witnesses contacted investigators within hours of each other. Um, the same day, Bahena Revere testified at his trial that he was kidnapped by two masked men who forced him to drive them to where Tibbetts was expected to be jogging. He claimed that when they found Tibbetts, one of the men stabbed her to death, put her body in the trunk of Bahena Revere's car, and made him drive to a cornfield where the young woman's body, uh, badly decomposed remains, were discovered a month after she was missing. This is going to be so interesting, <laughs> seriously. So I have all of the trials that I do playlisted. If you wanna go back and listen to the Molly Tibbetts trial, um, that is all playlisted on my channel. Um, and you can listen to how this trial went. And an interesting development, really, for sure. I mean, wow. Um, and, you know, it was interesting because when the defense, at the end of the trial, the defense attorneys did a press conference and they said, you know, our client has maintained all along, like from the beginning, this was his story that he was abducted. He never wavered from that story. And, you know, if you watched the trial, you know, this guy just he's he seems very mild mannered he's a he's a father he's hard working i mean yes he's in this country illegally but um to kidnap somebody and commit murder i mean it just doesn't seem i mean this guy had no record at all um i don't it just seemed out of character for this this guy so um now even though he wasn't sentenced you know he's still in jail <laughs> he ain't going nowhere um yeah i don't know there's dogs barking all over the neighborhood i don't know what's going on out there tootsie's been alerting on something i do do i can't wait to finish this painting it's so pretty it is pretty, so, so pretty, pretty and witty and gay. Oh, let me explain something. Yesterday, if you watched to the end of my video, I put some new music over the end screen. Well, I get my music from Power Director. And if you're not careful and you, you have to sort it by date that they give you, that the music is listed, in Power Director, and you have to choose the latest music because if you choose something a little older, the copyright may have expired. Because apparently, Power Director only buys, only purchases the music for a limited period of time, and then the copyright expires, and then they come to you and say, "Oh, you've got a copyright." It's not a strike; it doesn't hurt my channel. I just have to do something about it. So what I chose to do yesterday was just mute the song. Well, instead, they muted everything. You know, and that's an option. You can mute everything or you can mute the song only. And I had chosen mute the song only. Well, apparently they muted everything. So I apologize. You didn't miss anything. I was talking about the Olympics, synchronized swimming. Yep. Um, you know, I was just jibber jabbering. So no, nothing of consequence. But I will make sure today when the music I choose, <laughs> I will be careful with the music I choose. Very careful. Um, I don't know, it's crazy, isn't it? It's just crazy. <sighs> yeah. Let's do this day in history. 
do, 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 do. I didn't play Animal Crossing either yesterday. Can you believe it? I, you know, I did sit and work on my hat for a little while. Uh, I didn't watch Big Brother, so don't tell me any, no secrets, no, don't, don't give anything away. Um, um, but it, I DVR'd it. I will, I'll watch it, um, tonight before the next episode. Yeah. Okay. Where are we? Where are we? Do, do, do we want this day in history? This is a really interesting one, guys. Yes. July 15th. 2006 Twitter is launched now this is a San Francisco based company that did podcasting they were pod and that was their main thing but they thought you know let's do this little side venture this little Twitter thing because here's what happened um, they're a podcasting company and that was their you know bread and butter um, but then Apple comes out with a podcasting platform and and it kind of put a damper on what they were doing. So they decide they're going to do this little side project called Twitter and they spelled it T W T T R. I don't know why, but it like it quickly be, it was changed to quit to what we know as Twitter. A messaging service for groups to the public. Now they were throwing around names, you know, what are we going to name this thing, you know, and one of the names that was thrown out there was friend stalker, friend stalking. That's funny. It really is. Um, so it was, uh, it became a way to kind of micro blog. Now this company was founded by um, Evan Williams and Noah Glass. Now Evan Williams was the founder of the blogger, but he sold it to Google in 2003 for several million dollars. Um, and later on, Evan Williams bought out all of the stock in this podcast company and fired his uh, fired Glass, the coworker, who we later learn is the one that came up with the name of Twitter. Um, and it, it like it caught on right away. It just just um, took off. Um, and especially there was this convention. Um, oh, where was it? Let's see. There was a convention. Do, 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 do. Twitter exploded at the South by Southwest convention in Austin, Texas. That was in March of 2007 when more than 60,000 tweets were sent per day and grew rapidly from there. So by 2013, um, it was reported that they had 2,000 employees. Now, when they, when they first did this startup of Twitter, they had 13 employees. So by 2013, they had 2,000 employees and 200 million active users, which is really only a fraction of Facebook. Facebook has like 2 billion users. Um, so, and the company was valued at $31 million. Million dollars. Oh my God. Anyway, so, <laughs> wow. So, personally, I don't use Twitter. I never understood it. I could probably figure it out, but I have, I do Facebook, Facebook Messenger, Instagram. That's enough for me. Really, I can get my thoughts out there like that, really and truly, or just text who I want to text. Um, I, I don't tweet or Twitter or whatever you want to call it. But it really got, it really um, was made famous also by President, oh, I, I, hate, I hate to say President, former President, well, no, you, I guess you always call them President, Donald Trump. Who would tweet? He would tweet like policy changes and stuff. You know, I mean, just weird stuff. But he got banned from Twitter for inciting violence. Um, and I understand he's now suing Twitter and Facebook for banning him. Hi, well, no, you can't come up here. No, you can't. I am diamond painting. Nope, 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 nope. That is a no-no place. No. Hi. I know you're thinking, what's my next move? Nope, you're not going over there. Here, go play with Tootsie. Come on. Oh, she wants to play. <laughs> there they go. Um, 
she's my babysitter, Tootsie is, yes. Um, and frankly, I, I think, you know, Twitter had a responsibility and Facebook had a responsibility to do that, you know. And they're, both platforms are, you know, have been urged to police bullying, um, you know, incitement to violence, hate speech, harassment. Um, yeah, and I hope that they're making strides towards that. But, you know, and one of them was to ban Donald Trump. You know, I, I was... I was happy that they did that because, well, anyway, that's my opinion. <laughs> I don't want to lose subscribers because of that. Please don't don't hate me because I, I, I'm not a Donald Trump fan. Please don't hate me. I understand people out there love him. I get it. Okay. But, you know, we'll agree to disagree. No politics. But I'm just stating the facts. They banned him for inciting now, that would be an interesting trial to cover now, wouldn't it? If they took it to trial and they covered it, you know, the lawsuit against Twitter and Facebook, well, two different companies would be two different lawsuits. But I imagine that's something they would settle out of court. Or not. I don't know. Hmm, interesting. Yes. Well, I have to go to work. What you doing, Tootsie? What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? Yeah, good girl. It is almost the weekend. Yay! Um, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> I have to clean carpets this week. I don't know what I'm going to do with the animals while I clean carpets. Um, that'll be interesting. Yeah, and I do want to wash the kittens. Even though they told me I didn't have to, I think I'm going to do that anyway. I'm going to try to find some specialized shampoo. I'll look around for it. I'll look on Chewy. They probably have something on Chewy.com. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I want to buy them a toy, one of those sticks with the thing on it that you can hold up and um, they play with it. Not that they don't have enough toys. You should see my living room. It's like a jungle gym. <laughs> you know, between the scratching post and the tree and the box and the, they have this little tunnel that they play in and out of and if they push it, it lights up. Pearl loves that tunnel. Stitch is not crazy about the tunnel, but Pearl will get in that and Tootsie will stick her face into the tunnel looking for her. It's really cute. Oh my goodness. I really wish I could have taken the day off today. I really do. I just want a day to like sit and do nothing and craft. But Retirement is only <laughs> six years away. Woohoo! But you know what? I love my job. You know, I usually I start my my history historically. I'll only stick with a job for a couple of years or so, and then I get bored or I get burned out. Um, but uh, you know, this is like one of the first places I've ever worked where like. All the people that I started working with are still the same people I'm working with today, which is very unique. You know, in the past where I've worked, there's been a lot of comings and goings and, you know, that kind of thing. A lot of turnover, I guess you would say. Not here. None. None. People take these jobs and they stay. So I'm going to just get comfortable in my chair and stay until I retire. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So today's the 15th. Uh, it does not look like I will complete this paint, painting today. I estimate I have a probably a good three to four hours I need to put into it. But, um, you know, I'm going to work on it tonight. We'll see how far I get. Um, but, you know, even if I don't finish it until the next few days, it's it's okay, you know. I almost reached the goal of mid-month, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I got to say goodbye and go to work, 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 work. Gotta go to work. All right. Tomorrow I will continue the trial of Joshua Aid. So we had to, you know, 
interrupt it for the late breaking news, which I found fascinating. And thank you, Nareda, for bringing that news to my attention. So, guys, have a great Thursday. Um, you know, craft on, play Animal Crossing, you know, do what you do best. And give something away today. Let me know what you give away. You know, even if it's just some kind words to somebody. I love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.